technology to appear virtually live in front of you. So a few of you may actually appreciate the profoundness of this moment. We tried this last Tuesday, it didn't quite work. So we're having our little behind the scene giggles about it and um, in, in all seriousness and no seriousness. Um, I, I dearly love this woman. She has been part of my life for what, over 20 years. And we have just traveled, I think, through many lifetimes together. And she has been such a teacher and a friend and a mother and a mentor and a co-creator and all sorts of other things in between. And so this is Rita Rivera Fox. And I met her first through Don Miguel Ruiz and being a Toltec master. And since then, she has evolved into many other forms of spiritual teachers and coaches and more titles than I could possibly name. So I'm just happy to share her with you. Yes, it's Rita and it's working. He, he was amazed. So hello, everyone. I'm so happy you're joining us. And I'm just going to turn it over to Rita and see what comes through. <laughs> conscious evolution at this point. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> I'm sorry to interrupt you. So you are not appearing in the stream and everyone's posting messages. I can't see her. I can't hear her. And I realized that it was only broadcasting me and not you. So I have to uh, giggle yet again <laughs> that we forgot the one last button that says put Rita in front of everyone. That, that was your group. That was your job. <laughs> that was actually my fault. I, will I you did my job. Going. So she is here. So let's um, just press the rewind button and go ahead and start again. <laughs> All right, starting from the very beginning. Go, girl. Yes. They heard what I had to say about you, but they cannot hear you. So, so you have been beautifully on. introduced. And now, can everyone hear her? I hope Hi. now that Hi. she's in the same. Everyone say hello. We, I know Rose is here and Eve is here, and I now see her on my screen. Yes, so good to see and hear you. Okay, so oh my gosh. Hello. I have been brought forth into form. Yes. <laughs> we all know times can be a real challenge. Yes. Oh, and to my beloved Megan, I what I had said uh, in the formless uh, uh, part of this. I was session. loving your message. It was beautiful. It was great. We had a great time. <laughs> and now that I've agreed to come to you in form, <laughs> I will attempt to um, reiterate my great respect and love <laughs> for my co-collaborator in, in life and so many things. Um, as she mentioned, all the different forms and roles we've taken with each other. And <clears throat> as I'm mentioning here, that obviously she and I, probably you and I, <laughs> have agreed to be here <laughs> at this time in some position of leadership, mm -hmm. some position of um, allowing our voices to be heard. Um, as I was saying earlier, I have cried tears this week, this last week, I have felt the entire gamut of emotion. 
at our opportunity? Is it when we face death that we truly step into life? Um, who knows? <laughs> but <clears throat> the quality of living in this moment is something that's beyond words. I've been allowing myself to listen deeply and to feel deeply. I call it the great dance with the great unknown. And it's exhilarating and it's disappointing. It's heart uplifting and it's deeply sad. I've been to these many feelings, but I've embraced them all and they speak and much wisdom is available in listening deeply, hearing your own guidance, hearing your own soul speak at this time, because at this time our souls are responding to, I'm just gonna call it cellular memory, though I don't actually know how it's conveyed, but I think you can agree that you're open and available at a level perhaps that you've not been before and that there are messages and deep guidance coming through for how you individually as a soul who's chosen to be here at this time can navigate, not only navigate, but create, not only create, but inspire, not only inspire, but thrive in a form of life that is truly in alignment with your soul. So this is where we go today. We begin by closing the eyes and connecting, connecting with breath. It is there supreme life force that you are is always there, available when you drop in to meet your breath. Breath in, breath out. Begin to feel, begin to feel a rhythm of your breath constantly with great vigilance. This rhythm moves through you. Notice that when you become more curious about this rhythm, when you become more curious about <clears throat> this movement through your body of breath, breath in, breath out, how you drop in. Our minds can be so busy these days and they are not a center of truth. In these times, we are being invited to trust that truth, at least the way our individual soul is expressing it, is available. It's there. It's waiting for you to breathe and touch in. Listening at a truly 
deep soul level begins as you follow your breath deeper. In this moment, as I draw breath, and I know and feel each of you drawing into your breath, I'm wondering, do our rhythms sync up? Breath in. Breath out. With each breath I take, I move into my inner stillness. I move to touch this place of silent knowledge that speaks to me in these moments. Breath in. Breath out. When I breathe in, I touch deeper into what is true. Life, life is true. When I breathe out, I let go. Perhaps there is <clears throat> stress or worry or needing to know how is this all going to turn out? This is normal. This is normal for a busy program mind to want to know. But the opportunity in here and now is to find safety, comfort, depth in the unknown. And that's what breath serves. With each breath in, I drop more willing to meet what I don't know. When I breathe out, I let go of needing to know how this is all going to turn out. As I breathe in, I deepen my trust in my commitment to serve life. And as I breathe out, I release all manner of levels of energies that are coming forward at this time. There is a great crack between the world. And not often in one's lifetime are we able to truly engage and say yes to moving between the worlds. You, me, voices of hope, voices of sadness, whatever voice is being expressed in this place between the worlds, we are truly able to do the piece of healing that our soul most needs for this time. It's really not even healing, my friends. It's resolution. It's completion. Between the worlds, we can make a new agreement that I resolve and I complete anything that I've allowed to be in the way of my coming forward 
in complete love and service to humanity, myself, at this time, my prayer is, I allow myself to stay between the worlds as long as necessary. I allow myself to sit in the unknown and trust it more and more. This is great fortification, great strength gathering in the unknown. And I'm more and more willing to just sit in the unknown and breathe, touch into my force of life and know that no matter what happens, life is being served on this planet and life will continue. We need not be attached to what it looks like. For if we say we serve life and we agree to that fully in our heart and soul, then we accept life as it shows up on its terms. Breath in, breath out. There is great love, the kind of love that vibrates through our cells. There is great love here in agreeing to sit in our breath, drop into the deepest ocean that we are and invite the dance, surrender to the dance with the unknown. Thank each of you for whatever way you express and serve life at this time. Stay resilient, stay courageous, and yet when tears come and sadness comes and despair comes, let life move it through you. We serve life. Your voice is triggering so many cellular memories for me and all the times I've sat with you and I know a lot of other people have had that experience who are listening and the people who haven't heard you before may also have some deep memory of your words because they're speaking some deeper truth. So thank you so much for sharing your message and your wisdom today. Mm -hmm. El gusto es mío. <laughs> Gratitude is boundless. <laughs> it is boundless. Yeah. Thank Remember you. who you are. Remember who you are. Yeah. <sighs> Well, my verbal channel is not completely online. And so I'm just going to thank everyone who, who came to join us today. And I do hope you'll join us again tomorrow. We'll have another beautiful message and guest. And so until then, I hope everyone revels in this space that opened up between the worlds. <laughs> play. Play there. 
Yeah. Don't come back too soon. <laughs> There's no hurry. Mm -hmm. We're taking a breather, remember? Mm -hmm. I love you all. Thank you, Megan. <clears throat> so dear to my heart, always. Likewise. Mm -hmm. We will revel in the miracle of <laughs> the technology and the channel being open. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Take care, everyone. Adios. Adios. <laughs> Te amo mucho. <laughs> Lo mismo. <laughs> Por la eternidad. <laughs> so all the little brown people. <laughs> That's right. From our lineages. <laughs> our lineage of brown. How we meet again. I love you. I love you too.